Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on today's video. Now I'm going to show you, if you use your MacBook, how to get Windows 11 with DirectX 12 on your Mac and your Apple Silicon or Intel Mac, regardless. Yeah, subscribe to my channel before you begin and you're in for it, right? Now, the app I'm going to use today is called VMware Fusion or Professional, depending on whichever you see me use on your MacBook. And it supports your Mac perfectly and it runs on Apple Silicon and Intel, regardless of which one you use. And when you are done, you're going to get something like this. You can see the screenshot, Direct X 12. Yeah, no kidding. Let's get started. All right, here we go. So the first thing we want to do here is search for VMware Fusion on Google and click on the official link. That's their website. So you can see, like I said before, VMware Fusion 13 is play test available for Mac OS from version 12 upwards. So you have to download it and you can see I've already downloaded mine and downloading pretty well. The second one is a different case, but you'll get that soon. So let's double click on the DMG that's been downloaded and it's going to open the installation window. All right, double click on that. So we're going to go through the installation BS and yeah, open, put in your password. All right, give it a while it's installed and open the app. Yeah, along notifications. Now agree to everything and for the code, I have a code, you might want to DM me on Instagram for that because that's where it gets difficult, but DM me on Instagram for that. But for me, I have a code and I put it, so that's basically it. Okay, so we have activated it to the pro version. All right, so now we have to install the virtual machine. First, granted any permission it requires, give it without hesitating, it needs all that. So let's click on get windows from microsoft to get the default arm version and now continue download windows all right so it took an unbelievable amount of time to download and even when it's done it's going to take a while so you have to leave it with a very fast internet connection till it tells you creating windows 11 iso file yeah it took me ages to get there so trust the process it downloads the iso in the background without giving you a bar for that so so I fast forwarded mine to make it faster and you can see it's done now and you can note where it is. I did that by taking a screenshot but it's quite easy to find. Yeah. So select UEFI and give it a password you remember for the sake of the UEFI secure boot. Yeah. You can just type one in eight places. That's what I did for mine. And get started after doing that. So one, 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 eight times. Second time, hit continue. Create a new virtual disk continue all right you can see everything 4 gig capacity 2 cores probably your 2 performance cores and you can customize settings by clicking customize settings button and you'll see the name and where it's saved yeah so now these settings are what you use to control it but we don't need that right now click the play icon all right so yeah I didn't click a key unfortunately so it took me to this page but all you have to do is just restart it but next time make sure you click a key when it asks you to click a key so restart and this time I clicked a key yep clicked on Microsoft logo here so we're getting getting to the difficult part <laughs> not the difficult per se but the more annoying part yeah so do the usual Microsoft stuff Select Windows 11 Pro when the prompt comes for it. We don't have product key, ignore that. Yeah, Windows 11 Pro and hit next. I have saved Windows only on that disk. Yeah, so I made it faster again. I do not have time. 8x speed. For you, it's to take a while longer, but for me, more like a stuff of my fingers. Yeah, thanks to time travel. Okay, anytime now. Alright, so now it's going to restart and do some annoying service starting. Yeah, so although I have to give it some time. Trust me, it takes time, but it's worth it. Don't forget direct X12. That's the key here. So now we are in the final stages and it's going to boot into the windows yeah because i made that fast 
for you to take a while longer. Trust the process. All right, you can see how smooth those frames move. Thanks to DirectX. Okay, so here we have Windows logo. So I had to also make the usual BS setup a bit faster to save time and save the video lens. Yeah, so sped up everything. These are stuff you can handle. Just select your country, your keyboard layout, your name, your password, the rest of them. After setting your name for your Windows system, it's going to have to reboot. So yeah, that's normal Windows 11. Yeah, you can see mine rebooted again. So it's perfectly normal, don't panic. Alright, reboot in progress. Alright, so now that the reboot is done, it's going to continue with the setup. I had to fast forward it again, yeah, because I do not have time, like I said. Yeah, so fast forwarding should be coming in any time now. Yeah, put in your email and sign into your account. Yeah, I had to blot out a bit, although my, my email showed at some point, but <laughs> I thought I knew what I was doing at this point. Anyways, yeah, it verified me, asked for my code and all that stuff, yeah. And I skipped backing up or restoring. Set your pin also. Uh, Alright, you're getting to the end stages. Yeah, I just skipped everything. Skipped. These guys don't give up. Alright, so hi. I also have to fast forward these parts. I hate having to wait for this also. 20x or 8x? Yeah, 8x definitely. Yeah, you can see it's faster, 8x. Almost there and home screen. Yay, we made it. So you can see perfect. I had to test this out as I finished installing just to make sure it actually scrolled like something with direct specs. And trust me, you can see how fast and how 60 FPS ish it looks. Yeah, it scrolled perfectly. Yeah, you can see when the graphics was quite alright. I chose my native Mac resolution, 2560 by 1600, and I set it to 200% for the text. Yeah, so it will fit in. Yeah, so you can see, good as new. Alright, so we can't personalize, we don't activate the windows, we can do it that and that time. The main part is getting the windows to even work in the first place. Alright, so we have DirectX, I'm going to prove to you that we have it. Yeah, so after googling how to check DirectX, I hit Command and R, like Windows and R, and I hit the DirectX Diag, yeah, Diagnostics. Alright, so that's the Diagnostics to the short version, and you can see, voila, DirectX 12 down here, it supports the latest one. This is the best Windows alternative on MacBook you can possibly get. It actually gets the 12 that most people are after. Which means on higher performing marks you can game on this. Yeah, I've taken the time to show you guys this stuff. And you can shut down also from the menu bar and virtual machine option. Yeah, I shut down. Alright guys, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Yeah, it was an honor showing you guys this myself. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I had the out.